What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Nelson. Today I'm inside a 98 Toyota Camry. Whoa. So guys, welcome back to the channel. In 22,000 miles, it is gold and green. The badges are gold out and I love it. Hope everyone is doing great, getting ready to go to work. My clock doesn't work here, but I know what time it is. It is early and it is hot. So today is a pretty cool day, interesting day. Last night we were, I was working and I got off like around 10, 11 o'clock at night. I was leaving and today I am being totally ghosted by my girl right now. She is super mad at me. And this is why, because last night I was leaving the dealer after working like 10, 12 hours straight and then going home and again, getting back to work. And the thing about me is I do work a lot, but I do it all for like my family. And some people can say to do it for their family, but I mean every single check, all the money I make goes straight to the bank, straight to pay all our bills. None of that money is, is mine. You know, I've been wearing the same pants for years now with the same boots. I've had them for like two, three years. I don't spend a lot of money on myself. I don't really want to, I don't really like to. You know, all my money goes straight to my family, straight to paying all the bills, straight to putting food on the table. But last night, it was really hot. I mean, it was 110 yesterday. So my mom left early and she, I took her to the store. She, we bought some stuff. I needed some stuff too. So I bought a new toothbrush. I bought some, body wash because I'm running out and, and little tiny things like creamer for my coffee because I made coffee in the morning you know I don't drink that Starbucks stuff I just make my own and depending on the day that I'm having I can make it stronger weaker this or that also check this out I just put $80 in gas because it was all the way low and I did that on like Friday last Friday and it is Wednesday today and I still have a full tank of gas <laughs> Man, this Camry is amazing, right? And I've been driving it for a couple days now and I am like completely in love with this car. 122,000 miles, original miles on it. This thing runs great, but let me continue with my story. My mom says, I took her to the store because she wanted to make ceviche. Ceviche is, what is ceviche? How do I explain this? It's a cocktail. It's like a shrimp cocktail. There you go, perfect. It's shrimp cocktail basically. And so I took her like around six to all the stores to go buy everything she needed so she can make a shrimp cocktail. So then like around seven, eight o'clock, my girlfriend texts me and she says, Kyle, are you gonna come home and eat? And I'm like, yeah, of course, I'm coming home to eat, duh. But she's like, I made ceviche. She made shrimp cocktail also, but she made it out of imitation crab. I guess we didn't have any shrimp. I don't know why she didn't go out and get some because shrimp is delicious, I love shrimp. But she says, we have shrimp cocktail home. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, I can't wait to go home and eat. It's gonna be amazing, right? So you see what's going on. My mom made shrimp cocktail. My girl made shrimp cocktail. I'm, I'm thinking this is the greatest thing on the world, in the planet. I'm gonna be able to eat them both and I'm gonna be able to choose which one I like best. I'm very opinionated on it, <laughs> on the food. I love food. I love all kinds of food. So Mexican food, Assyrian food, Indian food, uh, American food. I just love food. I know what it is like to be hungry. So I also know, oh my God, hopefully I didn't lose a hubcap. This thing just have hubs caps. Look at that thing, man, it's falling apart. This one's not, just one of them is. So I'm thinking maybe they were playing around over there more. But easy fix, I actually just glue it back on. But so it, I'm leaving work and my mom calls me and she says, hey, I left some corn by the door at work, can you just grab it and take it with you? And I'm like, yeah, no, no problem. So I grab the corn, pick it up, and I drive to my mom's house, give her the corn, and it was already late. So my dad's like, I think Nelson should just, you should just serve him a plate and he should be on his way to his family, which um, I totally agree. I was actually gonna say that to my mom. It's like, hey, just give me on a good to go and let's get out of here so I can go home. So she does that, gives me a plate. I'm like, cool, I show up to my house 
everyone's asleep. My girl's asleep. My boy's asleep. I still have to finish up a couple videos. So I have to do the thumbnails and write the post. And I was actually working on the Dodge Charger video. And I think it's a pretty cool video. Go check it out. So I'm sitting on the table and I'm just straight munching away at my mom's because she had it in a plate and I looked in the fridge to look at my girlfriend's and it was completely covered up and sealed up. So I didn't want to just uncover it, unseal it. And what if that wasn't even the shrimp cocktail? Because it didn't look like the picture that she sent me. So I'm eating my mom's and she comes out of the room. She wakes up and she says, I can hear you munching. She's like a happy, right? And then she sees that I'm eating my mom's and she just starts slapping me like in the shoulders and stuff. And she's like, wait, 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 you would, you turd. Who knows what she's saying? She calls me a goose. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So it, it's fine. You know, she goes, she like goes to bed. We don't even hug or kiss goodnight, nothing. It was just so cold. And I was like, ah, she'll be done. She'll get over in the morning. So I actually, actually did have some of her shrimp cocktail and it was pretty good, but it wasn't like as good as my mom's. My mom's was way better. <laughs> I haven't told her that. I wanted to tell her. It was just really lemony, the one that she made. And it was really, the, the lemon just overpowered it. And I loved lemon, but I, I hate that lemon overpowers things like that. So uh, <laughs> I did have some of hers. I ate all of my mom's. My mom's is so delicious. And actually, I bet you there's more at the dealer at work right now so i'm gonna enjoy more of my mom's shrimp cocktail i didn't take any of her cocktail this morning because she was so mad at me she was so upset and i'm just like why are you so mad dude so i wake up in the morning and it was terrible i had to go to the bathroom right so i'm sitting on the toilet and i'm chilling and like nothing you know nothing's happened yet so i'm just sitting there like this half asleep because i haven't had coffee yet and i I cough, I go like, <coughs> or I sneeze. And dude, right when I sneeze, the whole thing just goes plop. And it hurt my butt so bad. Oh my goodness, it hurt. It really did. I'm like, ah, oh, for reals? And then I finally went the whole thing and I wanted to tell that story to her, but she was so upset that I don't think we said more than five words to us this morning. Uh, she was pretty mad. I, I did say, babe, while I was in the toilet because I was taking forever. And I was like, babe, babe, make me some coffee. She's like, no, I'm not going to make you coffee. And I'm like, what? Like, why would you not make me coffee? You want me to get up? You want me to go do work? You want me to make videos? You want me to do all this stuff? And no coffee for Nelson? It's like, come on, dude. I need coffee. I need to get going. You guys see the energy, right? It's because of the coffee. Woo. But dude, it's like WTF, man. So my girlfriend, she always gives me the silent treatment. And honestly, I really like the silent treatment. So what I do when she gives me the silent treatment, I basically just give it right back to her where I don't say anything myself because I have a moment of peace with the silent treatment. I don't, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I don't have to say anything. For example, she actually made me a burrito this morning too. She didn't make me coffee. She knows the coffee is like the most important thing to get me out, but she didn't make me coffee. She just made me a burrito, which is cool. I ate the burrito, had a little tummy ache afterwards. So she put too much salsa on it, but I ate the burrito. And because we were doing silent treatment, we didn't say any word to each other, even though we're both sitting across the table from each other. What I did is I just grabbed the plate and like rinsed it out real quick, threw it in. And then honestly, I just got my stuff and left. I didn't have to say, bye baby, I love you. I didn't have to say, thank you baby for the food. I didn't have to kiss no butts. You know what I'm saying? I just get my stuff and I left. So she's gonna give me the silent treatment. I'm gonna give it right back to her and we'll see how she feels after a day or two. After a day or two, I'm sure it'll be over because that's the way I am. Whenever there's any type of fight, any type of argument after like, honestly, after like five minutes, I'm totally over it. But women are not like that. They do not forget. They will not forget. They do not forget. It's just insanity. Like some things I understand. Some things should be forgotten. Some things that happen. Other things should not. But women, big or small, they do not forget. It doesn't matter if you said one wrong thing or a million things. They just don't forget things. It's, it's just terrible. And I've told her, like, I don't understand how you move forward if you don't let go of the past, right? Let's say a soccer player, for example, an athlete. I was growing up very athletic i played soccer i did boxing when i was like seven years old i did wrestling for like 
eight years or 10 years of my life. So I'm very competitive and I'm like an athlete. And what happens when in athletics, if you play a soccer game and you lose that game, you have to learn from it and then forget the rest of it. Because next time you play that same team and those same players, it's gonna be a totally different game. And that's what you need it to be. You can't lose again, you got to win. So you have to forget the past and move forward to your next match, to your next fight, to your next game. And that's my mindset, but that's not hers. She just won't forget any of the things that I do. It's super lame. Like, I don't even remember what I did yesterday, honestly, because I did so much things. The only thing I remember yesterday is it was 100 degrees outside, 110, and I was at the junkyard, literally carrying a seat on one hand and my toolbox in the other as I was walking out of the junkyard at a at dripping sweat. Literally, my shirt was covered in sweat, and the guy, he knows me, so he's like, dang, Nelson, look at you, bro. And I was like, yeah, bro, it's 110. You think that's going to slow me down? It's not. Yeah, but... I mean, that's the thing about the silent treatment. The thing I don't like about the silent treatment is that she is not working with me because we are both parents, we are both adults, and we both have things to do and we need teamwork to do them. All right, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I get sidetracked so easily. That's the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Woo!